Well, the question is, can you grow oranges in Texas? Well, let me show you. Yes, you can. And tell you what kind of oranges these are. Well, first of all, this is in a container. This is about a 20 gallon, 18 to 20 gallon container. It's a, a protein tub. I've got lots of fruit trees in containers. I have got lots of blackberries in containers. If you haven't been following me on can you raise blackberries in containers, you need to watch that series, that playlist. But back to the, uh, Black to the oranges. This is a Satsuma orange. Uh, these are almost as big as a softball. Some of them not quite. Um, kind of flat, not exactly round. A little bit flat, yeah, like that. But a big orange, they're soft, they're ready. We've been, as you can see, the peelings on the ground. I've been eating a few. We probably picked, um, six or eight probably had at least a dozen on here i would think if not more this is the first year it's not a first year tree it's not a one year old tree but it is the first year i have had this tree uh i would say it's a three year old tree or four but i'm really not sure i've got this and all my trees and all my blackberries which are doing spectacularly i got them all from bob wells nursery and uh i'll have a link below um in fact uh i think he still is giving a 10 percent discount if you use the discount code tp2 tp2 but these came from bob wells nursery and this beautiful all of these are just beautiful trees beautiful plants the leaves have already fallen i've already had the the um seasonal leaf drop from the figs we hadn't had a lot of cold weather but it's just time my fig trees uh those are my that's an old fig tree probably six years old or more it's already dropped all its leaves and then i've got a behind that persimmon that's a persimmon there behind it is another fig tree look how loaded down that persimmon is i'll do another video with just the persimmon but this is a satsuma orange uh doing well in east texas i'm in zone eight uh, i think it's 8b but these uh this has really done great uh, it's pruned well it has got a lot of growth this year's growth that is this year's growth so is that uh, all this lateral growth down here is this year's haven't decided if i'm gonna leave it yet i just don't know because uh, that's coming out right at the graft so i don't know whether i should write is it's just right on the graft it's not below the graft but it's just right just right above the graft so i don't know whether i'm gonna keep those or not i just hadn't I, I, I don't know so i'll have to kind of do a little research on it uh i will keep this in a in a the container all winter long and then uh, what ed donnelly told me at bob wells nursery was to let it winter uh, this winter in a container and then after that put it in the ground I just don't know whether I'll do that or not I may leave it in a container I'm not sure I don't know how big these get but I think they get pretty big so uh, I may have to put it in the ground um, but just want to show you yeah you can grow certain kinds of oranges in Texas I think all the satsumas will grow in Texas but you know, some of them, the, like the smaller ones, may be small. But these, these are pretty good size. This is a, this is a size of an orange you'd buy in the store or bigger. And doing it in a container, I've let, I've let the container kind of get weedy, but they're kind of grassy and got some clover in it and some grass. But um, I haven't fed these in a, probably a month. But um, you know, it kind of looks like it's closing down on the season, so I really don't want to feed them right before winter sets in. But anyway, I probably fed them in uh, September, uh, maybe October. Uh, but they're doing well. Uh, again, I've got we've gotten at least a dozen off these. The first year we've had it, not a first year tree. It wasn't a bare root tree. It had a good root system, and I encourage you if you're buying trees, don't buy a bare root. 
unless you just have to. Uh, I mean, I'm, when I say have to, I'm talking about cost prohibitive or, or something like that. Don't go down to Lowe's and get a bare root tree because it's going to take you at least a couple of years more to get that tree going. If it takes, if it survives, to get that tree going and fruiting than it will if you buy a tree in a five-gallon pot or something like that. These were all five-gallon pots. Uh, and I know it's more expensive. I know it might be another $20. But, you know, $20 for two years of your time trying to cultivate that tree, trying to get it up to a, uh, a size that will produce fruit and your expectation, you're waiting on it for two years. Two years not worth 20 bucks? I think it is to me. So buy the biggest tree, physical size, but also pot, you know, the biggest pot you can possibly afford. If you're buying 50 trees, maybe you can't buy. Maybe you have to buy a bare root. I don't know. But buy the biggest tree you can possibly afford. It will reward you so much quicker and with, with fruit and with the, the, just the joy of watching it grow. Just the expectation of, of seeing this dude get after it. Uh, that lamb is actually coming the wrong way. It's kind of crossed. Well, it just the weight of the fruit did that. I've already pulled one. I've already pulled one off this. I pulled one there, uh, pulled one there. And at this point, they're so soft that when you when you take the fruit off, if you don't cut it, when you take the fruit off, uh, the tops, the top of the fruit, the top of the peeling comes with it because it's just, it's so soft and ready to come off. Uh, I took one, the first one came off right here and it was the biggest one. Uh, I don't see exactly where it came off. But it came, it, it came from right on this side. So we've had, we've had a dozen or so on here and uh, have just removed and eaten several. They're nice, they're sweet. But I did want to show these to you. These are uh, just doing well in East Texas. Eight or eight B. You don't have to be in Florida or California to grow citrus, to grow orange. But a satsuma orange growing in Texas, yes, you can. Satsuma oranges, they are beautiful. Get you some, Bob Wells Nursery, bobwellsnursery.com, W-E-L-L-S, bobwellsnursery.com. He has some wonderful stock and um, he'll treat you right. Mention my name, mention Texas Prepper 2, or if you're ordering online, Use the discount code TP2, and I don't know how long it's available, the, the discount code, but at one time it was 10% uh, off, and he supplied all these trees and gave me a discount for y'all. So how about that? Nice people. They'll answer all your questions. They know what they're talking about. Satsuma oranges in Texas. You can do it. Or anywhere in the South. You don't have to be in Texas. I know you wish you were, but you don't have to be in Texas. Anywhere, anywhere in the south. All right, we're gone.